guys, it's me, your favorite opinionated race car driver's wife. I guess? I don't really know. We're just going to wing this today. Uh, a lot of people were wanting my honest to God opinion. I kept my mouth shut in the last video for the most part. I mean, I still talked, but um, we kind of kept my opinion to myself and that's okay. Uh, but this video is going to be all about my opinion and about questions that you guys actually have sent us. Um, and I'm going to answer them and you're either going to like them or you're not like regardless the these are my thoughts they're not your thoughts they're not ryan's thoughts they're not casey matt thoughts these are my thoughts megan mitchell 110 percent no one behind me so if you get mad don't get mad at any of those other people me okay so let's dive in uh we got invited to mega cash days for street outlaws which is awesome uh, there's a lot of controversy going on about big tire cars being invited and not the small tire cars, um, or I guess as, not as many actual small tire cars. Um, Ryan is a very nice guy, so to him, he's just excited that we made it. Um, to me, I actually, I feel bad. I feel bad that... There are so many small tire cars out there every weekend busting their butt. Um, I feel bad that some of the areas, like maybe I, I feel like the East Coast, they don't have a lot of media. Um, you know, we have people like 660 Street. We have, you know, 1320. Like we have a lot of that stuff because of these media people. And that's how we're able to get our name out at a lot of these places. And unfortunately, down there, I don't feel like you get that opportunity as much. So I feel like there are some names that were definitely passed over. Um, but this is where the butt comes in. Uh, I understand where Pilgrim's coming from. It is a show. It is a show with people that have been on there for years. Um, these people have fans. And fans watch the show. I mean, you can't you can't be mad at them for getting ratings. Um, do I think it's going to be very interesting seeing some of these big tire cars on small? Absolutely. Am I a little nervous about some of these guys who have never been on the street or on small tires before? Very. But it's racing. Every single one of them know what they're signing up for. Um, yeah, there's just there's kind of mixed emotions about that. Uh, I don't want to step on any toes and be rude because, again, we, we're super grateful for being able to make it. But would it have been really cool to see all of our friends, you know, be on a TV show? Absolutely. Uh, I feel like I am a lot of people's fans i mean every racer that we know i'm a fan of in some way because you make these relationships you see them do exactly what you do every single week they miss family time they are in the shop constantly they're busting their butts trying to get to that next level of fast and it would be a great opportunity to see some of these guys show that off um, let's see, I have a couple. Um, how did you get on Mega Cash Days? Uh, I really think it helped that we've been on two previous seasons, and we've also done the Street Outlaws um, on the street in Chicago and Oklahoma, I believe, years ago. Um, so that helps um, our fans, I think. The fact that we have such a good following really helps. So honestly, we should be thanking you guys because. I hate that I even have to bring this up. This is so silly. I have been getting a lot of messages asking me how I feel about Lizzie making an OnlyFans. Now... I feel like a lot of you expect me to come on here as a parent 
and just say how disgusted I am and I'm appalled by it and the fact that someone would do that when others look up to you and blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I'm not going to say that. What she does is her business. It's no one else's business. You don't get to tell her what she can and cannot do. That's her body. And at the end of the day, a woman's body is a woman's body. It's not your body. It's not his body. It's not her body. So instead of being rude about it, being mean about it, being hateful about it, just don't say anything about it. If you have that negative feelings towards something, block it. You don't have to see it ever again. It's really that simple, you guys. If she wants to go out and sell pictures of whatever, let her. I mean, who is it hurting? Is it hurting you? It's not hurting me. I don't care. Would I ever do it personally? Which was another question that we have gotten. Um, my answer is probably going to be no. I do have three boys and eventually they're going to start looking that kind of stuff up. And the last thing I want to do is scar them by them finding that out about mommy. Mm, that'd be a really, that would be way more difficult than the birds and the bees talk. So I, I'm not ready for that. But if someone else wants to do it, then so be it. Who cares? Yes, she is a very popular racer. Yes, she's on TV shows. Yes, she's the face of a lot of the a lot of the TV in general. But that doesn't mean that she can't do what she wants to do on the side. I mean, I don't unless she signed something, which obviously I'm assuming she didn't because she's doing it. But all you grown men thinking that it's just so appalling and that's fine. That's your opinion. Keep your opinion to yourself. Try it out. I mean, like, I hate to be coming on here and acting like this and sounding so rude, but what does it matter? She wants to sell her chocolate starfish. Let her sell her chocolate starfish. She wants to make these men pay $10 a month just to see what's on her Instagram stuff. Let her do it. It's not hurting anyone. Not that I know of. It's not bringing physical harm to anyone. So, woman to woman, I'm going to build her up. You go, girl. Do the damn thing. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for that, but at the end of the day, it's our bodies. Let us dictate how we use them, what we use them for. Mind your business. It costs zero cents to mind your business. And like my mom always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So just don't say anything at all. Lizzie, you're doing it, girl. Keep going. Don't let the haters get to you. Who cares? Make that money. Race call parts are expensive. Expensive. I mean, if she can make money that way, good for you, girl. We are going to be leaving Friday, which is exciting. Will we be using the big block or the LS? or the 5-3, or the single, or the double, or what are we going to do? Ryan's pretty set on the combo that he wants to take. I am on the fence. I am on the fence about the big block. Um, Because you always have that, like, well, what if? What if the road gets really, really good? What if? What if this? What if that? So, like, you can't really, I mean, know what's going to be best. Like, you're just, you can't. Uh, we're not going to be taking two motors. <laughs> like, we just, we don't have the room. We don't have 
I mean, we don't have the crew. Like, we just, that's not us. Um, I, I personally, hear me out. I personally like the idea of the 5-3. Now, I'm not talking the LS. I'm not talking the bells and whistles. I'm talking about the 5-3 off the shelf that has already shown time and time and time again that it can do its job. I mean, people thought we were crazy whenever he put it in for the come up for that quarter million dollar race. And I thought he was crazy. I thought that that was the stupidest de decision that he could have made. I'm Why would you do that? Because he's Ryan, that's why. But it worked. And it worked time and time and time again. Will he listen to me? No, probably not. So will it be the actual stock bottom in 5.3? Probably not. Will it be the LS? Maybe big block, possibly. We'll just have to see, man. It's just a really, really hard call. I mean, if it was me, I would be big block. Big block, twins, that's my favorite setup. That's my favorite setup to the day I die. That is the all time best thing in that car, I personally think. Uh, Ryan really likes the LS though. I mean, he's an LS fan ever since the 5.3. So it's still going to be up in the air. I'm sure we'll decide by Thursday, you know, figure it out, switch it over, do whatever we need to do, load up Friday, and then be trucking our way to California. So it should be a really good time. Um, there should be a lot of fast cars there. Uh, I'm excited to meet some new people that I've never met before. Um, I know there's a hand, stop. There's a handful of the big tire guys that I obviously don't know. Um, so that'll be fun. It's gonna be a long, 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 long trip though. A long trip. So we are going to finish packing. That's my Christmas tree. Don't come at me. If I'm going to be gone for the holidays, my house is still going to feel like it's the holidays. So I am going to finish up packing, grab the sock that my dog is currently chewing on and tell him no. Um, but yeah, so there it is. I think this is a great opportunity for us. I am sad. I feel bad bad I that rhymes that's so stupid but I do I really do feel bad um man there's just there's a lot of cars that I feel like didn't get the opportunity that they should have and it just sucks coming from a friend point of view you know um nervous very very nervous it's a long trip it's it's gonna be a lot so we'll see how it goes and who knows i might make another one if you guys like these um if you guys have questions drop the questions we love answering the questions whether it's me answering them ryan answering them whatever we want to you know go back and forth with you guys we want to make videos and footage of things that you guys want because if i just do what i think I mean, it's probably going to be a lot of girlier crap that you guys aren't going to want to watch. So the more input you guys give, the better I can hit that, if that makes sense. So stay tuned. We'll make another video, probably loading it all up and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so thanks for tuning in, guys.